Now that I got her attention and she isn't completely annoying me, I think it's best off best I give her the basic of what I was thinking before class ends and she wants off. So for the project, how about we do something about music history? Her head pops up as the suggestion eyes twinkling even so slightly with interest at the notion. Maybe we could write about how music artists copy each other or take words, words of lyric from other artists to recreate f- fates or traits. Ellen Gates fell there for a moment. I feel like losing her, but she beamed back up toward me. Like simp- simpling. Yeah, sort of. That sounds okay. Only okay. I tilt my head slightly, not entirely sure if she actually held any real interest. What do you mean? Me putting her on the spot doesn't seem to make her any more comfortable. I like it. She can, she's constantly like keeping her valuable to a minimum, but at least she likes the idea. Or what I assume. I offer her a smile and take a peek at the clock about the door of the classroom only to find that class is about to end. Mm. We can start working next class. We should probably look up some stuff before though. Then though, if you find anything interesting, let me know. Okay. Mr. Mallet returned to the room with a grilled with cheese sandwich from the lunch counter in the school main hall. He takes a bite, the cheese twill connecting his mouth to the sandwich snap one by one and he takes a little time to chew before speaking. Everyone's got their ideas. The sign of the drive grown of if you throughout the class, Mr. Mallet throws aside the get here or to the door. Alright, you dismissed. Presentation or on paper are due on Monday in class. If you are late, your grade will be caught in health. With that in mind, I turn my attention back to Ellen who is pa- panicking up her things in a hurry. A packing of her things in a hurry. Now that now the class is over, seem even more uncomfortable sitting beside me. We good. She gave me a small not so reassuring smile before taking her things and leave. I'm really not sure what her deal is, but as long as we get the project done, I think I'll be okay with her being so over well, over and shy. How it go? Yuki looming over the table something I hadn't noticed. Perhaps Yuki is the reason Ellen left so suddenly. She's mm, quiet. You notice? Yuki tittered and wheezed a hand up to her lips in shots herself what how how clear oh i'm not really sure if it be possible to work with her like that for a uh, for the whole project otherwise i may just be doing all the work myself you know marcus if you need help you can always just ask you can lean down letting her elbow rest against the table with her bosom looming just above it push between her arms slightly. I take her monitoring attitude for me with a pinch of salt, but it's a bit more of a challenge not looking toward her chest which is right in front of me and held firmly by the garments of the school uniform. Maybe maybe it's in certain intentional I know some girls enjoy teasing and getting attention for that kind of stuff. I quickly stand, not wa- want, wanting to let my mind linger on thoughts that aren't appropriate, even if they are being taunted by Yuka's, Yuka's showing body p- posture and flirtiest tone. How exactly will you will 
I know a way that get Alan to open up a bit more. Personal, I think I may be able to do most of the paperwork on my own with a little bit of help from Alan. But getting her to say as much as she did in class was a huge burden on my parties. It may be better off if I get to get help. All right, you are what the trick do you have some up your sleep that will make her less shy? You can smirk a, sm- a small bit of clasp on her hands together. Go get lunch first. I'll introduce you after you finish eating. Introduce. Before I can ask her what she means, she venture off, leaving me off to get lunch by myself. A part of me feel like this is some trick in the in debating me to Yuko, or perhaps she is just nice enough to watch over me for my first few days. Either way, I don't really want to be babysit or made into a pack mule, but when we'll see how things goes. Eating inside today proved to be a good decision due to the fact it that a few minutes after I got my grilled cheese. Ellen must been staring off at the cloud out of a view from where I was sitting. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like the clouds loom over it for too long and by the end of lunch, the sky always clear up again. All right, waiting. Yugo is quite the stock Stalker apparently having some into the small common room the moment I swa- uh, swallowed down the last bit of my sandwich. Mm, yeah, sure. She gets you for me to follow venture into the room to the left of Mr. Mallet, which is the only room in the area I haven't been inside yet. The exterior is like taking a step back in time, it gives off. 70 ties or 8 ties feeling. The wall is cover, uh, covered with massive block board that has seen what the crates of abuse with yellow tainted clock with a cool clock of the Krit, er det ikke? Det tror jeg. Jeg er ikke sikker. Ole uh, Nick, Nick Nacks vending from plastic brand name dolls to sign project like every corner of the room. Puh. The only thing clean is is the table which are made of black quant knit and they seem to give off a little twinkle. Across the room at the father's table is a wet-headed girl with glasses. Her hair color clashes with her uniform, but she looks surprisingly good. You could lean over me, uh, le- lean me over to her and smile eagerly, happy to help the two of us making a grand. Courier, this is Marcus. A wet-headed girl glances up from. Her laptop computer to quickly look me over. You are the new guy, right? The title, the title makes my shoulder clump even so slightly. It gets a little agitating when I'm known as someone dead alone, just as the new guy. I guess it only makes sense. Yeah, Marcus Fitch. I extend, I extend my hand out very gently. Gently manly, like only to have her eyes uh, face upward toward my nickels. Intensive, I react, I react and curl my hand into a fist bump into hers in a smooth weapon. It's a nice change of pace from shaking everyone's uh, clumsy palm all the time. Kaya, a uh, dual, dual, nice to meet you. So, what's up, Yuko? What do you want? Well, Marcus here has a project in si- social science with Ellen. 
Cal nearly rolled her eyes as if annoyed by the prospect of having to help anyone, especially with Ellen. All right, and consider you're the only person who really talks to her. I figured you could act as a moderator for the two so they can actually get some work done together. You could give Kyle a, a hopeful little smile as she leans over, leaned closer, trying to assure Kylie that it was a good idea. Maybe hang around with them while they are working so Ellen is more comfortable. Ellen's a hard worker, you know. She just doesn't feel super comfy in class with everyone being so loud and obvious. I can see why Ellen will dislike that. There are a few loud mounted in the class that never seem to shut up as long as Mel Mr. Melter isn't lecturing. Sure, that might be the case, but the fact still remains that Marcus here has a project with her, so maybe it, maybe the three of you could just talk about it outside of class. Karen leans back in the chair, giving a look toward her computer to Yoko, Yoko and Leslie to me. I offer a crystal smile in hope that hope she understands my plick. Alright, but only because Marcus seemed like a cool dude. She grins and feels at ease with the situation. Yoko, on the other hand, gave Kyle a look. Um, look in Snowden distrust, but it quickly fade and she turned to me, smiling cheerfully. Glad I could help. I'll see you around, Marcus. As she leaves, she gave my arm gently sweet, making my body tense up slightly. Once Yuku finally gone, Kelly lets out a small huff of air, and I turn my attention back to water. Hey, sorry about that. I don't mean to be so well we we on people. Kelly shakes her head, leaning her arm down at the table beside her laptop. Nah, you're perfectly fine. Don't worry. In exhale, a small what? Ciclua chuckle. Happen happy to know that I'm not being at least to everyone. All right, cool. Can I make a tense noise by passing her t uh, tongue against the back of her teeth and bathing out gently as she scrolls? Something wrong. She glares over from the door and shakes her head. You could just annoy, just annoy me. How so? I can't deny the fact that I love hearing different people's opinion on other pe personalities and personas or maybe it's just like the gossip, gossip. Personally from what I've seen so far, Yuka really sweet and helpful. A 10 showy perhaps. She's up P2 and holds a grunge pretty bad. Oh, huh, really? Yeah, get on her bad side and it's hard getting her to cooperate with anything. Like with like with Tyon. Ho oh, oh, ho oh boy, those two. I laughed quietly and shake my head, not want not wait, waiting to push this subject any further. Wanting to push this subject any further. It happened to it happens, but anyway, my your friend with Ellen. I might as well just be titled Ellen's when Karen crosses his arm, creak, squeaking her eyes in annoyance. Yes, Ellen and I are close friends. Mm, she seemed really nice, just super nervous. Kinda gave me a dull nod as if I were starting something obvious. Yeah, she got so social issues, personal I hate talking in large groups. I always feel like the third will know what I mean. Everyone got their own thing. I'm not in understanding. Can you suggest a way I can get her to a mob bit? Treat her like anyone else. 
the simplicity of caring and so leave me a little blindsided doesn't everyone else do that though everyone might think they do but sub 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 science ah subconsciously they treat her differently because she's so quiet ah i see what you're saying it's harder to treat someone normal if you know they are normal so the challenge is just telling yourself that they are normal caring pals bitting down on her lower lips a few times as if chewing at it then again i have no idea i'm not a physiologic physio it's just that we are so close ill and my as well be my sister maybe we Maybe we can work out something after school to get some of the project done for you too. Karen shrugs and looks up toward the entrance of the room with the uh, with a keen eye, watching it at uh, it as it opens. Stepping inside the white pant leg, followed by a white co- cloth torso, followed by a scruff black hair, a faintly tan skin, is one. Is the one and only. He spots the two of us and quick and quickly wipes his hand up, configuring an E with his finger. East sided, is each side. Hey Matt, I'm surprised you actually been showing up for math, let alone early. Kering has a rather mock impression tone to her pretty yet slightly tomboyish like voice. Hey Beth, hey Beth, Beth, I'm going to pass this year. Actually, I have to show up. That's usually the case for most classes, class, isn't it? I joke winning up a mat. Who takes my joke with a slight, hardest slap to the knee? You met this kid yet? He's great. You meet this kid yet? He's great. Wink, winker, winker, funny. I don't think I'll crack. I don't think I'll crack very many funny jokes, but thanks, man. Karen clasps between the two of us for a moment. Something. Take her away in her head. You two look like siblings. Siblings. I jerk my head back to look at Mac, rising my arm and lazily pointing it in his direction. Strangely enough, Matt mirror my actions. Sequence our consonal reactions. You must be twins, separated by a birth. Yo. That's just gross. I will eat my twin in. What? Yo, that's just gross. I will eat my twin in the womb. There can only be one. I don't see the resemblance at all. Yeah, yo, Mark, Marku boy, what class you got next? I push my lips and pull my back up into the table and dig for my sexual. I got math next. And you are in here with us. Then, what do you have after that? Uh, 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 chemistry. Damn, don't got that with you. Right before I can say anything else, the an older guy walks in who can only assume is our teacher. So I sit down beside Matt. Matt is complete, complete drag of Matt. Frequently yells out random numbers, which, in some cases, are the correct answer. Our teacher is a grumpy old guy who already gave me the vibe that he hates my guts. On top of that, uh, Quimsy ends up being a totally bald-faced, and is halfway across the school, away from the room I use. To end with no one I recognize. The teacher doesn't even bother introducing himself to me. The only good thing that came from today was being able to convince Carly to try and set up a meeting for the project. So I guess that's not all bad. Classes finally end after hours of note. 
checking and going over homework which I was frustrated. Fortunate enough, fortunate enough not fortune enough to not be around due to traveling here during the middle of the week. Ooh. Math has never been my strong point, nor is it something I really enjoy and the chemistry chemistry I can't see them. Chemistry, chemistry, there's not no lean, there's a book, chemistry, chemistry, no lean, my table, they were from. Teacher was just a terrible, boring speaker. I tried my be- best to make it out of the school without any hold ups, waiting to get back to my room and relax a bit, but my plan is interrupted. Someone, palm resting at my side, right shoulder trying to get me to turn to face them. Luckily, it, it isn't a teacher or faculty member of who wants to have a word with me, but instead it's Kelly. Hey, how about tomorrow after school I'll help you out with the project? Oh, sure, what the plan? We could work in my room. I think Ellen will be most comfortable there or anywhere else will really require that work, I guess. Alright, cool, I'll see you then. She gave me, she gave my shoulder a pat as she passes a uh, venture outside to join the folks of students escaping for, uh, the building to enjoy their time off. The mixture of a boring chemistry, 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 I can't see it, where I can't see it. Quimachi, 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 yeah, whatever. Class, math, I can hardly understand, and walking back to the dorm along the rather shocky grass and path would leave me, leave my head pounding. At least the weather was clearing up and is no longer whining. The garden area of the dorm is clustered with people, mostly in small containing groups. Due to my headache, I'm not really interested in talking to anyone, so I try my best not to catch any unwanted intention and legs really walk toward the front of the entrance to of the, my dome. A flash of pink bounces in front of me and I stop dead in my track. Hey, Marcus. Oh, hey. As much as I want to talk to me, well, no, I really don't. How is it going? Good, kind of tired. Oh, may give me this petty look if I were wanting, wouldn't some plan of her being tired. Yeah, I was thinking I might just get to my room, done, grab some dinner and hit, hit to bed early. May pound forms into a confused and odious correction on her lips. I wish up a whop the side of my face unsure as what I said that bother her so much. What? That's no good. How how are you going to meet new people if you, if outside of class you just do homework and sleep? Well I figure I get to know people over time. School just started and a few weeks ago. May shake her head friendly before per, uh, pausing uh, and glancing to a left. A, to- a tall blonde hairy guy steps closer to join the conversation. The guy who's who towers over me offer me a firm nod of another man before turning his attention down to the pink hair girl in noise of a girl. I'm gonna hit across Okay, wait for me. May I start from the taller guy form back toward me, an idea burn, burning up inside her head to the point she blurred it out. Oh, Marcus, you should come with us. Oh, Marcus. Hmm, he's new. 
may bounce up and down on her head heels as if exciting by the idea of having me join the two of them however they are going. Oh, he's the new kid, huh? He lift up and a fist uh, toward me, offering his knuckles and greeting much like Carrie did. I lift my arm off, uh, loosely pounce my knuckle to his, taking the time to giving him a good look over. He looked like a mix of between a, p- a p- proper kid and a, a jock. His hair is cut short and his and he has a cig- uh, cigarette hanging from between his lips. Uh, this is uh, Garen Bear. He is he's a senior like you, but has a different hormone. The blonde uh, hairy guy. Uh, the blonde hairy guy's eyes narrow. Eric, a what is said? Is Garen Reed. Oh, ah, ah, ah Garen Reed, all right. Call him Garen Bear. He gets so upset and embarrassed. Ga- Garen tends up as at Mar- Mary's oblivious battle and lets out a deep breath, looking to me with a tra- trading class. Don't. I won't. Nicknames have never really been my thing. My assuring smile does enough to settle Garen down, and he turns his elbow into Mary's side. Ow! I'm going across. You're welcome to come with us if you want. This statement isn't directed at me in particular, and Garen's eye flicks toward me. May quickly recover from the elbow and smile exactly toward me. Come on, you can do your homework later. Sure, I go. Oh, wild right, well, sure I go. The homework I had really was the homework I had really wasn't that much in a way and walk around and enjoy the rest of the day before it gets dark might be the re- remedy for my headache. May give a happy grin and my answer are and my answer and quickly bounce off toward the path back to the school. I look to Garen and he squawk pacing after me and forcing me to follow his lead and walk with the two of them across the school camp. The whole trip May went on about uh, how much she disliked her classes and how hard being a freshman is compared to, to 18th grade. It's a little annoying anno- anno- hearing someone say being a freshman is h- in high school is hard considered it probably one of the easiest academy year of anyone's life at least around the, this part of t- the country. Once we make it to campus, she shut up about her classes and focus more on trying to talk with Graham and I. My daughter up Iceland. General convention store. So, Marcus, what do you think you are going to do when you graduate? I think I'm going to try and get into photography school. I paused at the step of the shop we are about to enter, thinking over what my what may had your desk. The question strikes me bluntly. I've been so wrapped up with coming to the new school, I just finished senior year, I haven't bothered to even look up any college or think about what I want to do in life aside from my puppies. Hmm. I never I never really give it much thought, I guess in something involving videos, games or something artsy like writing. You write? Not much, but I like creating concepts of stories. Oh, that's cool. I think you might have better luck with gaming if you men making them. Writers are too hit or miss, especially when you have crap like fanfics getting turned into movies. I nod, I nod as we step inside the small convention of Paris Macy store, Matt and I had walked by earlier. 
the sm- the, sm- the smell of the store remind me directly of my stay at the hospital, whispering on the memory of why I'm here to begin with. It's not like my past is something that I want to forget, but the whole experience of protecting me, Kelly, and cheating death has left me its wound in my mind just as it has on my body. It just kind of sucks. Best, best to think about what what as hand instead. I, wa- I was as me and Quarren scanned through the small as- asli uh, of the store and pick up things they need. May buys a box of hard candy that will probably make a bunch of noises when she eats them and Garen buys a pack of cigarettes. Honestly, I'm not really a fan of smokers. The smell of it always make me gag and I always thought it was a huge waste of money figure, figuring out how much they cost a pack. Garen doesn't share the same view though, nearly throwing out 10 bucks for the single pack, I'm sure he has the money for them. They finish buying their thing and we all step outside where Garen immediately lights up a cigarette from the pack and he just bought and brings it to his lips with a content, content sign. I, I sit a good distance away and make sure not to be downwind avoiding smoke in my face but does the same blobbing down beside me. May does the same blobbing down beside me.